We're on. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tuesday night Heat Team Call. We are so fortunate that we get to work together and come together every Tuesday night. And as national marketing directors, which I am, so I want to welcome you guys, we get to, you know, invite different people, different leaders, different national marketing directors to come in and share their stories. And I'm so honored that I get to share with you guys a brand new national marketing director all the way from Massachusetts, Andrea LaPlante. And I just met Andrea, I think we just met at the conference, but I knew of her because I have the joy of working um, with a sideline buddy with your sponsor, okay. and upline, Kim. And you guys that are coming on, welcome to our call. And if you could just meet yourselves out when you uh, join us, that would be awesome. And of course, I've known Pammy and Gretchen for years. And I think it's so cool that Nikki and Chris were just there at the regional in Connecticut. And you got to meet and you got to see how awesome Chris and Nikki are. And we are so blessed to be a part of this team and just share, just share each other's successes and, you know, our stories. And that's really all we do is share our stories. So let me introduce to you guys who Andrea is so you know who she is. And then I'm going to turn it over to her. She is a national marketing director and also a certified health coach with the Dr. Sears Wellness Institute. She lives in Plainville, Massachusetts. And she comes from a corporate background. She worked for eight years in the communications industry. We share that as well, Andrea. We'll have to talk about that someday. She worked with Sports Fox, Fox Sports News uh, for eight years prior to having her family. She's now using her communication skills to grow a team of wellness warriors after her son overdosed on Flintstone vitamins. And if you were in the St. Louis conference, you probably remember that. It was a very poignant moment. This scary incident was a wake-up call. Juice Plus was exactly what she was looking for to keep her three children, Ava, Will, and Drew, healthy, along with her husband, Billy. With a family of athletes, fueling properly is a necessity. Andrea is a mom on a mission letting people know there is a better way, a simple solution to keep families on a healthy track, and she is committed to growing a team of wellness warriors who are on the same mission to inspire healthy living while creating a full life of opportunity. So I am just so excited, Andrea, you're with us, and I would love for you to just share your story. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, everybody. I am so honored that you asked me to be on this call tonight, and it was so great to meet you at um, Regional in Connecticut, so it was just a, a great opportunity for that. And and I really am going to be as authentic as I can here with my story. And I hope that, you know, that my message will speak to you in some way, but it's definitely has different points to it. Um, as I mentioned, or Lisa mentioned, I come from a corporate background. I worked for Fox Sports for eight years before I had my family. Uh, very driven in my career and excited to um, be independent. And for me, I'll just... Fast forward how I heard about Juice Plus. It was at a gym that I was working out with. And when I only saw a brochure, I didn't even talk to a person. But when I saw the brochure and the flyer um, in the gym, I was asking, where is this? How can I get it? This is unbelievable. It's the answer to my prayers. I can't believe this actually exists. And I was a little irritated that I didn't know about it sooner. And I kept thinking, geez, why didn't I hear about this? Why isn't anybody talking about this? Is this real fruits and vegetables in a capsule? My son, Will, had overdosed on Flintstone vitamins as a toddler. And if you had asked at the time, even when I looked into Juice Plus, it was for my children. I was kind of one of those cocky people. I work out. I'm an athlete, athlete mindset. I'm, I'm pretty healthy and fit. I don't really need it for myself. When I saw that brochure and saw that it had a nutrition label on it and not a supplement label, and my child couldn't get sick and overdose on it, I was blown away. It was the answer to my prayers, and I was really looking for answers, and the education spoke to me. So I guess you could say I'm a little bit of an education junkie. I dove into nutrition, and I wanted to know why did my son have that experience, and thank God he's okay, and he's thriving, but it just really was a wake up call for me because I grew up with a mother who was a nurse. We always talked about prevention in our house. Ask anybody if they came to our house for a snack, it would be go get an orange. So it wasn't that we were ignorant in how to fuel. We just didn't know just like most people that there's a huge disconnect between what we're putting in our bodies and how our bodies are thriving. So 
I was looking for answers and the education from this company spoke to me. I was blown away with the education. So I started sharing it with everybody I knew. Uh, and, and I really, the piece about staying home after raising a family and then having to go back to a commute two hours into Boston and back, um, working at a desk, not having time off, would have had to have someone watch my children. My husband's been traveling for the last 19 years. So who would be home to raise the kids? I really couldn't see going back to a corporate setting after raising um, and being home with my, my little ones. And I really want to do something that matters. So for me to leave the house and leave them home alone and have no really uh, parent at home, it would really have to be something that meant a lot to me. But at the same time, we had heard about Juice Plus. My daughter, who had been horseback riding since the age of five, became an extremely competitive equestrian. If anybody knows anything about horses, you'll know that it's not cheap. So uh, it, it slowly started escalating. And, um, you know, I used to tell my kids, you have to earn everything in life. Nothing's handed to you. So I always told her, you need to earn this with your grades and your behavior. And she started getting accolades from school and she was getting all A's from school on her reports. And she'd come home and say, mom, I'm earning it, right? And I thought, wow, you know, she, she is, she's doing what I asked her to do. At the same time, my husband was traveling and it was becoming very stressful, very stressful on our marriage and on our family. And it was very stressful for my daughter thinking that she was the one that was putting all the stress on the family. So, so at the time, I wasn't really aware that there was a business with Juice Plus. And when I found out, I thought, wow. Um, and I will, I will say this to all of you. If you are sharing this with anybody, make sure you share the business piece of it. because the product piece, Juice Plus Fruits and Vegetables, it just makes sense. Not everyone will get it right away. But the financial piece is just as important as the health piece. And I would say Juice Plus saved our health. This business saved our family. And I needed to know right away that I could earn some income with this, that this just wasn't going to be a hobby. So when I heard right away, my sponsor is Kim Vanderheiden, and she left a corporate career, six-figure career, to share Juice Plus. So when I heard that, whether someone's at that place or not, I knew that this was something that could help my family without me having to go back to corporate. So I knew that this was a business that I could earn income and the full corporate benefits. When I heard about the benefits, I thought, wow, I could take the burden off my husband. So, and then uh, bring him home. That that's what I love about this business is it really can allow moms to stay home, bring husbands home, spouses, whatever the situation is, you have options. And knowing that if he gets laid off, I will have the, the full corporate benefit package. So as soon as I saw that Stairway to Heaven document, I circled NMD and I said, I'm going for this. And as soon as I told my kids, it became real. I said, uh, as soon as I tell these guys, they're going to be watching me and I have to make it happen. So that's what I did. It became real. And I just said, I'm going for it. But I said, listen, you all need to be supportive. I've been home for a while. I've been that main person for you while my husband traveled. You're going to have to put yourselves to bed. You're going to have to, you know, be home alone after school sometimes while I'm doing wellness presentations. Help me clean the house. Go in the basement while I have presentations. There's so many different elements of my kids being part of it instead of saying, I can't do it. My husband travels. I have to take them here or there. I would find rides to different events, to their sporting events. I would, um, bring them with me. I would uh, come home at night while my husband was on the road and all three kids would put themselves to bed and they would leave me notes saying, mom, how was your presentation? So I, the reason I share this is it's not going to be easy, but get your family involved and let them know why you're going for it. And I would say to them, hey guys, pick my NMD song with me. Someday you're going to be on stage and, and I'm going to share you know, Will, that you uh, got really sick from these vitamins. I'm trying to help people. So I always ask them and to be part of it with me, and it really became a, a family affair. I will share with you, um, we had just moved into our new home after I was, I was pregnant with my third child, and I just had him, uh, and my husband got laid off. And let me tell you, the shock of your dream, finalizing my family with my third child, moving into this home that we had dreamed about, and knowing that it all came crashing down in that time where he should have been home enjoying the time off that we had was just really stressful. 
And from that moment on, things had always changed for him. And we're always waiting for that, that shoe to drop someday when he gets laid off next. Obviously, he ended up getting a job right away, and he's fine. And he's very marketable, um, and he's really good at what he does. But you just can't control what's out there. But to have a plan B and know that you're investing and the time that you put in is going to come back to you, you don't have to worry about losing that income. You just need to work on uh, your own business. It's priceless to have that plan B and then turn it into a plan A. So to me, um, again, I just want to share before we added a juice plus to our diet, we were that family that thought we were healthy and we were colds, flus, molluscum, eczema, ear infections, allergies, back pain. My husband was looking into surgery. He was a basketball player. We added Juice Plus to our diet. It's been five years. We've been antibiotic free for five years. No meds, no co-pays, no over-the-counter meds, uh, no missed school, no missed work. And I can say um, my husband's back pain is gone. My allergies are gone. And I just love to share that piece because that's what it's doing from a health standpoint. Um, and the business is just as important as the health piece. And, and I know that we're coming into the holidays and I would just say that the holidays is one of the best times to share juice plus because you're out with family, you're out with friends, you're networking, you're at uh, school functions, supporting teachers. It's just such a festive, happy time. And there's so many chances, cookie swaps or this and that. And I would say, instead of thinking of it as a busy time, think of it as a time that you can weave this message of health in and it's the gift of health. So I love talking about this as a gift. And holiday season is, is the time to share a special gift. And it would be a great time to share Juice Plus, especially leading into January when it turns into um, health and wellness. So I just wanted to just talking about different things that I did as a leader. I'll never forget when I was sitting as a sales coordinator. And there were many times my upline would put on events. And I was sitting at sales coordinator for a little bit, kind of thinking about my business and why it wasn't taking off the way it should. And there was one moment where it just clicked and, I, and, and it hit me that if I was going to become an NMD, it wasn't going to just happen and I would get the title and then become an NMD. I actually had to do the work of the NMD and, and exercises in... Um, leadership and then the title would come so a lot of times people say fake it till you make it it really hit me that i had to start putting on big events in my community and host them and speak be that lead player not bring people to events my upline was putting on but i had to start creating them so i started creating these big events in my community um we would call them own your life events uh, and i would have my team speak at them then i started doing bigger community events events. I asked uh, a friend of mine who's a local orthopedic surgeon to come in and speak for my athletic community. And I hosted that. I hosted a tower garden event with a local teacher as a give back community. We had some of the kids that had been taught in the school come and share why they loved the tower garden so much in the school. So I really decided that if it was going to happen, it wasn't going to be the events my upline put on. And it wasn't going to be me saying, oh, my team isn't really doing anything. I just had to do it. I had to get up every day, put the events on, go to the events, get to regional. I haven't missed a conference, you know, get on the calls. But it wasn't about who was coming with me or who was putting events on. It, I really took a look at myself and knew that I had to do all that work. And as soon as I started doing that, my business took off. So Lisa, I didn't know if you had any specific questions for me. I think she's still muted. So I'll just go in a little bit more about um, some of the things that we do in terms of systems. I, I would like to say at that moment too, I started branding my team. It was when I branched away from um, the one simple change that I had with my upline. I created my own and I started branding, really trying to connect with what the team name was going to be and, and how I wanted to um, really market and brand my team. So I came up with Wellness Warriors several years ago. 
I really connected with the, the warrior symbol and what it, it means to be a fighter and someone that puts themselves out on the front line for battle. So every time we would get an order, we would take a picture of a warrior and we would post a warrior picture. And I really love recognizing my team on Facebook for anything. If they do a three-way call, if they have their first wellness event, anything that they're doing, I ask them to take a picture and post it so that we can all support and inspire each other. So I really uh, started branding what the warrior theme was. And I, and I do ask my team uh, early on to start thinking about what makes you feel connected to what you're doing and start branding that. If you think you're ready, branch out on your own. Think of what your own team name is. And that will help you start getting into that leadership role and have some fun with it. We have a lot of fun on the Warrior page. It's really just um, motivating each other and thinking of what that mission statement is, putting yourself out there on the front line to do good. So we've really um, connected with that theme. But I'm really encouraging my team early on to think about what would speak for them, just like when we talk to customers about what works for them and where they are when, when we happen to meet them in that place. It's the same thing for our team. Some of them haven't been ready yet to branch out on their own, but I always encourage them to start thinking about themselves as team leaders, and as soon as they feel comfortable to start branding their own team. They don't have to leave my team page yet, I'm not going to make them leave my page, but when they start adding new team on, they can brand their team with their team name so that they feel like they have more of leadership and more role in that. Um, I've done a ton of three-way calls with my upline, and I'm doing a lot of three calls, three-way calls now with my team. I think that's so important really early on in the training stages to be that voice for your teammate that may not feel ready yet to say things or not really understand how to talk about the marketing plan. Um, and a lot of times people have voices in their heads when they're just starting out. So to do a three-way call and be that person for your teammate to um, get the, to ask those hard questions, if they're ready to get started or if they're ready to join the team and can I show you what this looks like and I'd like to uh, share what's available to you, those kinds of things. Um, and then I just think really, uh, we, we're doing a lot of trainings. We just started implementing Super Saturday trainings on Zoom. So I will open up my house to my team and Pam Shepley will open her house to her team, but we're all on Zoom. And it's, it's a, we've been doing it once a month and it's really creating um, a good sense of team community. So we have our wellness community, but this is really creating a sense of team community. And it's, it's really, uh, we've had a lot of positive feedback. And every time we have new team members, we're adding them on into um, these team events that we're having. So uh, if, if, Lisa, if you have any specific questions that you want to ask me, I know you had said that you had a few questions that you wanted to ask me. I don't know if you can unmute. You, you've covered every oh. single thing that I would that I was going to ask you about events, about, you know, how you guys are working together as a team. I mean, you have so many ideas, Andrea. I'm like, I've already taken two pages of notes. This is so awesome. So tell me about the Zoom events. Expand on that a little bit, because I think we're doing so much on Zoom now, and I love learning. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we all love learning what other teams are doing to really help bring us together, because you know, as an NMD, you well, your, your upline moved, so she doesn't live in your state anymore. And a lot of us have new people that we're trying to support that don't live within driving distance. And Zoom is so awesome to bring us together. So how do you guys do those Super Saturdays? So um, the one thing that's so great about Zoom is that it's virtual, so we're all jumping on like this. But what we've tried to incorporate is gathering people in a living room via Zoom, so I will plug this into my television, and I'll have my team come over, so we're together, personally in the room, but we've got Zoom on the television. Then Kim's on from North Carolina, and Pam's in Dedham. Even though we're on Zoom, we're trying to have little pods, little communities within our homes, so we'll uh, go through a training, and we'll stop the training and put it on pause, and then we'll talk to each other while we're live in the house. 
So we may do some um, uh, some feedback uh, techniques or, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, what do you think about this? Or maybe we'll do a text blitz blitzing right then and there. All right, like, let's text out the next event. We'll all do it in the room and we'll talk about, you know, <clears throat> I just think it's important to also have the camaraderie of the team in the room in addition to being on Zoom and being virtual. So if you happen to have pods of people that can meet in one house, you have the ability to do both. Yep, I love that idea. That is awesome. And I saw that on Facebook the day that Pammy did that. And I think I wrote a comment, like, I want to learn about that. That looks really cool. Because I could see on her TV that she had a bunch of people and, and she had people there in her home as well. That's right. such a fun idea. Yeah. Really fun. Nikki, do you have any questions for Andrea? This was just so great to hear all the ideas. And I just also love, so did you start the business at the exact same time that you got on the product? No, I started the product. Um, yes. And then I, the funny thing is I, I started sharing it with people like and telling, I had told my, I remember calling my sister right away because my niece had severe asthma and was on albuterol and nebulizer and steroids and all of that. So I started sharing it and I'll never forget one of my neighbors came to me and said, are you going to do this juice plus thing or what? Cause if not, I'm getting it from someone else. And I, I have to tell you this piece is that I had that hesitation, that little bit of fear because I, um, you know, you have that little moment of I'm too cool. I'm not sure. Like I knew my personality, if I was going to do this, I was going to go all the way. And I remember thinking, I'm going to take a risk here. I don't know much about network marketing. Um, I thoroughly 100% believe in this, and I feel as a mother, it's unethical for me not to share, so I'm going to share anyway. So I remember just picturing myself jump off the cliff, and I'm going for it. Um, I had always really, uh, really driven person trying to reach goals, but I didn't really understand network marketing, and I just really trusted that the product is – where my heart was. So knowing that, you know, I could have lost my son and there's something out there that can help people. I had to do it. And I, I called Kim one day. It's funny, right? I called Kim and said, do you think we could meet for coffee? I'd like to share juice plus with some people. She's like, how about in 20 minutes? <laughs> I thought, wow, I, she's really available. But so thinking, about, thinking about that, you know, if somebody were to call you and say that, and then, uh, so I, I was on the product for a little while and, you know, really had a chance to start looking into the education, called Kim about the business and realized that, you know, I was at a crossroads. I needed income right away and I didn't want to go back to corporate and leave my family. It really wasn't going to work for me to do that with no one home. Yeah, it was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. And what, what, oops, I'm sorry, Lisa. No. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I, you know, I'm so sorry we didn't get more time the other day to speak, but you've been, you've really shared your story so well here. It's absolutely amazing to hear the PowerPoints of how you felt as a mother, you know, how you felt as a family, um, how you felt as a woman. I mean, all of those pieces really that this journey has really fulfilled so many parts of your life financially and emotionally. And you've covered all that here, and I really appreciate, um, I just appreciate you giving us the inner story so that we could really, sh it's so important that we get bold and share this with other people. And I think when we hear stories like yours, it really gives us permission, and it allows us to understand the responsibility of what we have. And you've done all that on the call, so I am loving what you've had to say tonight. Oh, great. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, just know there's people out there that are looking for this. They're looking for this. And, and the, the community blew me away. I, the piece of it I had no idea about was the friendships that I would make along the way in the community. That I'm addicted to. Um, <laughs> I, I can't get enough. It's just like, you know, being in this fuzzy bubble of positivity. I'm, I'm a no drama mama. That's how I raise my kids. I don't do drama. I, it doesn't exist in my house. I don't really understand it. So when I'm part of this community, it just, it feels so good. 
Oh my gosh, Andrea, you are so awesome. I'm so appreciative of your time and just your heart and everything that Nikki said, I echo. And, you know, it's true. And my background is in corporate and Kim's is, and there's a lot of women like us. And I think sometimes we hold back from, you know, people like us, because it's like, oh, she wouldn't want to do this or whatever. And, you know, we can't, just like you said, we can't hold back. We have to, you know, share this business with everyone, just like we want to share Juice Plus with everyone, because we truly never know when this can come into someone's life and, and completely be the answer that they've been looking for. So thank you for that reminder in your heart. And you want to hear the funniest thing? As soon as you started talking, Pammy texted me because she wants to know about flying into the 39 club retreat <laughs> that's how fun this business is and I took a picture and I said I'll text you in 30 minutes I got one of your girls on my call and she's laughing so <laughs> it's just, you know so I just I love this family too and I love that even though I'm in California and you guys are on the other side of the country we we've all become such great friends and we all support one another and Anything that, that we can ever do for your team, Andrea, I just am really grateful to help you too. So thank you so thank much you. for tonight. I know it's 930 there and we can end the recording, Nikki, and everybody can just unmute and say thank you to Andrea and thank you guys all so much for being on the call. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great night, everybody. You too. Yeah.